Hello everyone, I thought it would be a good idea to do a comparison between a classic Zippo windproof and one of these V-Way Pulse sort of electric arc lighters, plasma lighters, whatever you want to call them. Now this could be any brand of these really because um, there's lots and lots and lots of brands of these arc lighters around so we'll go over the positives and negatives of each one and what's a better you know, general lighter. So the Zippo is a classic design but one of the problems with the Zippo is it evaporates over time. So I filled that up not too long ago and it's already evaporated all of the um, petrol out of it. So we'll fill it up again in a moment. But with the arc lighter, one of the good things is I probably charged that longer ago than I did uh, the Zippo and the arc lighter is still going. So obviously the battery in that holds a charge much better than a Zippo with fuel in it not evaporating, if that makes sense. So that's one positive for the arc lighter. Now for weight, it's not too different. The Zippo is a bit lighter, but obviously once filled with petrol, it's a bit heavier. Um, it depends on the quality of these you get. This is one of the better models, sort of an arc lighter, so it's a bit heavier, a bit more robust, but you can get quite light ones as well. So I've now refilled the Zippo. Obviously that's fairly easy to do. You just get one of those cans and as you can see that's now lit up perfectly no problems big flame from a Zippo very easy to light things and that's one of the problems with these arc lighters is that in comparison you've got a relatively small area that you can put something in to light so it's good for a, like a candle wick a cigarette that could fit between there like a cigarillo but it's not very good as a practical lighter if you just want to um, light things because you've obviously got a small area to get something between there so I'll see if I can demonstrate that to you now. I can use a candle for this, it's one of the best things to do it with and I'll show you how much easier it is with a Zippo than one of these. So we have here a little sort of tea light candle and with the Zippo I can do that and if I need to, once the Zippo's lit, there we go. That's very easy, I can turn the Zippo at any angle and get in there. But if I want to do it with this it's a bit more complicated so let's put that out, try again. Now we're going to do it with this arc lighter. And what you'll notice is the lid stops me getting the beams close enough to the um, wick, especially when the wick's slightly burnt down. So it becomes a much more difficult job of actually lighting the candle. As you can see, I'm really struggling to get that in there to um, get it onto the candle wick. And that's the problem with the lid. Now you can get arc lighters that have these prongs at the very end and have sort of smaller things to those and those are very good for that but a lot of the models are like this where the lid is designed so it can't go on in your pocket so it's a safety mechanism but that issue then causes the fact that the lid's in the way when you want to um, light something. I think it'd be good if some of these models had a removable lid that's maybe on a cord or something so you can plug the lid on then it can't turn on but you've actually got a fully exposed lighter element there for the electricity. So if you want to light a candle like this with one of these and the lid was in the way you'd have to get like a wooden splint or something like that and then light the candle which is a bit impractical. So for that reason the Zippo is more practical. But uh, as for windproofing, um, the Zippo windproof obviously gets its name for being very windproof but it's not totally windproof. Now with one of these They pretty much always stay lit, even in heavy wind. So that wind's on that front. Both are very good lighters. Personally, I'd go with the Zippo for now, just simply because, overall, I think they're very cool. You know, very robust, old-fashioned lighters. And they do their job. But I think with a bit more designing around these, with the better removable lids or something like that, which I'm sure they'd eventually be able to do, you know, elements that have less guarding around them so you can easily get into something, these would be very, very practical. But at the moment, I still think they're a bit of a sort of novelty gimmick for a lot of things, whereas the Zippo, you know, is really practical as a lighter. Not as practical, I don't think, as a um, sort of clipper or a Bic, just simply because they can hold pressurised fuel that will stay in there forever, whereas these, obviously, need to be constantly refilled because of evaporation, but on cool appeal, I think the Zippo still wins, but this is still a very nice sort of show-off lighter. But overall... I think for now the Zippo is the winner. 